This problem is actually not too tough. It's asking us what uh, sorry, the standard cell potential is for a voltaic cell based on this reaction. Well, in order to do this, what we need to do is separate it out into its semi-half reactions by figuring out what's oxidized, what's reduced. Let's go ahead and throw this thing down. So I've got three irons, and each of them has a two plus charge being converted into three irons that have a zero charge. How do I do that? Well, this iron's going from being positive to being zero, which means that it's becoming more and more negative, which means that it's gaining electrons. So if I gain electrons, that's reduction. So this is my reduction step. In order to balance out the charge, I've got a total six plus charge on the left. I'm going to have to add six electrons on the left, and that should do it. And we can see that this iron is gaining these electrons. How about the other reaction? I've got chromium, two of them, uh, being transformed into two uh, chromium three plus cations. Well, this is going from chromium zero to chromium three plus, which means it's becoming more positive, which means it's losing electrons. Losing electrons is oxidation, so this is my oxidation step. Where do I throw those electrons down? Well, I'm going to have to throw them down over here. So I've got six electrons right there. Conveniently, I think these actually balance out at least six electrons in the reduction, six electrons in the uh, oxidation. I think we're good to go. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's the overall process that I'm looking at. Now, in order to determine the standard cell potential for this, all I need to do is remember that the uh, standard uh, cell potential for this is going to be equal to the uh, cell potential of reduction, so equals cell potential of reduction minus the uh, cell potential of uh, oxidation. So if I can find actual cell potentials or EMFs for uh, each of these steps, <clears throat> I can throw them into this equation, hip hop ram done. We can do that, of course, by using the table that I supplied in the lecture that I'll show you momentarily. Let's begin by noting we're trying to look for uh, some kind of reaction that has electrons and iron 2 plus on one side and then iron 0 on the other. Electrons and iron 2 plus on one side iron zero on the other. Let's take a look at the table. Do you see any of these that have electrons on one side and, and iron two plus on one side and then iron zero on the other? Yeah, you see that the electron potential there is negative 0.44. So we'll go ahead and write that down, negative 0.44. Now one thing that's interesting about these is the stoichiometry doesn't matter. It's still negative 0.44 if I have threes in front of these, if I have ones in front of these, if I have zillions in front of these. Totally the same. Now let's look at the oxidation. The oxidation, I've got chromium, I've got CR3 plus and some electrons on the right side. Looking back at our table here, do you see any of these reactions that have got chromium 3 plus and some electrons on one side, and then chromium 0 on the other? Yeah, you can see it's this top one here with a number of negative 0.74. So now let's see if we can find the overall uh, electron, electron potential here <clears throat> for the reaction. I have to take the number for the reduction. The reduction is the one up top. That's going to be negative 0.440. I have to subtract from it that for the oxidation. The oxidation is a negative 0.74. So I'm taking this and subtracting from it a negative number, which is the same thing as adding it. You do that in your calculator and get the final answer. And uh, whatever that final answer is, well, it happens to be right. 